This morning, we are looking at the first independent poll for Colorado's Democratic primary Senate race. With the help of Survey USA, we interviewed more than 1,400 registered voters. 575 of them were Democrats or unaffiliated voters who said that they were going to turn in a Democratic primary ballot. Now, of those 575, 58% chose John Hickenlooper, 2 to 1 over Andrew Romanoff. This morning, we're bringing in our two political experts to break down those results. Republican Kelly Maher and Democrat James Mejia. Thank you both for being here. I want to start with you, Kelly. What's your initial reaction to Hickenlooper winning with such a big margin? I think that poll was a lot closer than I was anticipating it was going to be. We see organizations and candidates have come in last minute with a lot of money, and I was expecting based off of that that those numbers were going to be much, much tighter. James, what do you think? Well, I, I agree with that. The, the momentum on the ground certainly has shifted in favor of Romanoff, but uh, the, the numbers would, would say differently. The, the numbers would say that uh, most Democratic voters or, or independents that are going to vote Democratic, that uh, Hickenlooper has a much better chance to, to, of beating Gardner. I think that's the key indicator uh, for this poll. And James, you know, despite Hickenlooper's two ethics violations while he served as governor, people are still saying that they'll vote for him. Why do you think that is? Well, Democrats only need four seats to take a majority. Uh, that is a, a, a good likelihood um, at this point. In, in six key races for the Senate, uh, Democrats are ahead in five of them, including in Colorado, um, shown by two, two previous polls. So there's a real thirst uh, to, to get the Senate back uh, in, in Democratic hands. Uh, and, and in Colorado, we are at the top of the list to try to flip that seat. Uh, so Democrats are, are, are really going uh, for, for Colorado and, and trying to win back that majority. Kelly, what do you think? What's your take? You know, ultimately, I think one of the most effective ads out there right now is the one where Cory Gardner has is playing video clips of John Hickenlooper saying that he doesn't even want to be a senator. And I think that primary voters are going to really have an issue about voting for somebody who doesn't even want the seat himself. We're seeing that turnout is still very low. And it's really hard to get up off the couch and pass the ballot for somebody who hasn't even indicated a real passion for voting or for running for the seat himself. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, that is a pretty striking ad. And we've seen so many this season too. Kelly, um, what does this poll reveal about the overall feelings on the Senate and Cory Gardner? Well, remember that this is a Democrat primary poll. And so a lot of the data that's being extrapolated is just one segment of the population wherein it's going to be the entire state of Colorado that is going to cast the ballot in November for the Senate seat. I think that we're going to see those ethics issues be a bigger issue with the larger population. I think that many of the issues that have come up with Senator or with former Governor Hickenlooper over the last few weeks are going to be much larger as you take that out to the bigger population. James, what's your overall take on this? Well, you know, it, it, it will be problematic in, in the larger election still, though, um, in, in a matchup with a, a generic Democrat against Gardner. Either of these candidates, Romanoff or Hickenlooper, can beat Gardner. Gardner is the number one vulnerable seat across the country. Um, e even with those issues, I think Hick, uh, Hickenlooper handily beats Gardner in November. Okay. Kelly and James joining me over Skype this morning. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank My you. Pleasure.